up i wanted to quickly touch upon this this is going to be a pretty big collaboration this summer if you're kind of interested in this sort of stuff which is mugler and h&m thierry mugler and h&m collection full lookbook has dropped and you know on my side of the internet which is fashion twitter for the most part everyone's kind of going crazy for it but i think this will be a harder sell for the normies out there than people are maybe anticipating it for because i think mugler's codes and essentially style is i feel like very niche and will only maybe maybe you know speak to a certain audience and i think for the most part most general normie people who shop at h&m probably won't feel the most comfortable you know put into grips up some of this clothing although they've done a good job h&m and mugler of having different you know shapes and sizes represented in the lookbook so you can get an idea on what the stuff will look like i still think just style wise this type of stuff is only maybe for a select number of people out there that'll be kind of into it. it doesn't necessarily i think translate like maybe some of the other collaborations that they've done with other big designers out there going forward but i do like some bits and bobs here that i've kind of seen um via the lookbook that'll be pretty interesting to wear this hoodie is really, really cool with the corset design here on the midriff. I feel like that would be a really decent look and some of the pants look very interesting. The shoes will probably be a good little addition to pop on. The women's stuff is clearly a lot better than the men's. You've got this really nice denim, um, denim skirt. It looks like a denim dress that has also like a jean jacket attached to the top with this massive M um, belt, which I'm assuming is going to do really good on resale. So if you're short for money, and you want to make some cash um i would advise you jumping on this movie collection and maybe buying a couple of belts if you can do i'm sure they're going to probably be the cheapest thing on the flipping um list anyway to kind of guess so definitely make sure to grab it if you need be um the shoes may do some bits as well but the belt is going to do definitely a good bits on this denim jacket i really like also it kind of reminds me a little bit of a couple of collections ago Vetiman did a collection where they had these really massive you know wide shouldered denim jackets that were cropped and on this denim jacket courtesy of Mugler it kind of has a crop style because this the kind of last quarter of the denim jacket is made in black so if you're wearing all black it kind of looks like the jacket is cropped it kind of you know gives this illusion on your body it kind of cinches you in well so I think a lot of dudes are going to be into it and again they've got that nice style where it's got like a little bit of an elongated um, sleeve and it kind of you know uh tucks in here on the waist so a lot of dudes are definitely going to love the vibe of that and again that m belt i feel like it's going to do bits so if you're struggling for some cash this month definitely jump on that m belt when that eventually does come out because this is going to definitely do some numbers and i also like the fact that um for some reason the buttons have been switched so on this denim jacket on the right hand side you've got your regular um buttons that you'd expect to see on the denim jacket and then on the right hand side you've got snap buttons which is a pretty cool detail which means styling wise you can have these two kind of snaps at the bottom so it kind of gives this nice v sort of shape if you're going to styling it and make it look a certain way um we've also got some other bits and pieces there this down jacket type of vibe bomber jacket is definitely one of my favorites um i have a thing for contrast stitching i also have a thing for excessive zips i think anyone that's seen some of my jackets i wear would know i love a good contrast stitch and i love a good excessive zip and you know having all these zips all over this jacket with this sort of shape is absolutely banging and on it for me it kind of reminds me a little bit of a rick owens jacket that i've got this sort of like the similar sort of style with the jackets with the zips on you know basically four pockets all over the place and a zip around the hood also and again that big m belt and these paneled pants although pretty good i don't like how much they bunch up towards the bottom here so definitely would maybe need some tailoring if i was to wear them the women's stuff again looks absolutely incredible the dresses look great like all of this stuff is legit Berghain wear right you got these amazing straps on the inside of this lapelless suit jacket i'm not too sure if this means this actually holds the jacket together or if there's something that you can kind of detach but hey um, this is not something you definitely want to see Burt Kreischer wearing. Let's just say that. Um, it continues. Um, I do like the color of this jacket, this suit, this neon um, lime type of color of the suit looks amazing. I'll probably end up looking like a Stabilo Boss um, highlighter if I wore one myself. But I do like the look of this. And I feel like also this will be great because you know what? You put a flipping um, nice turtleneck underneath this and you could really change up what it looks like in terms of the shape and the style overall i think so 
so I do like the look of it and there's this other addition of some jewelry piece there as well that I'm not really too fond of but that look of that suit is also awesome that might be a suit that I would buy just to have in the wardrobe in case I go out for New Year's Eve that's what I'm, I'm thinking of just to kind of have it there in the wardrobe because everyone needs a couple of loud suits here and there a nice cat suit here that would look good on me also I think right behind the booth a nice nude cat suit here to kind of make sure the rump is out there and whatnot people would see and know the vibes the women's stuff looks the women's stuff is definitely the winner here i'm passing some of these women's looks now through the lookbook and the women's stuff looks really really good some of the guy stuff looks pretty decent also but i think if i wore this at burger i'd probably be sending the wrong signals <laughs> and i you know i could not be offended if i did <laughs> it just wouldn't be the what it is you know what i mean but i do like the look of this looks pretty decent you know if you're jacked or if you've got a timothy chamelet physique this is definitely going to look good on you for sure um these sear type of tops look really amazing and i'm pretty sure i'm going to see a lot of them on a the dance floor when i wherever i go out in terms of these you know dark techno clubs everyone's going to be into it. this is what actually it says yeah that's what i'm thinking mugular actually from this collaboration what you're seeing a lot of your favorite brands out there that do this type of clothing they basically you can see where their inspirations come from this this essentially looks like good rave wear this looks like party clothing um it's not stuff you're going to be rocking up to in the in the office or whatnot but one of the standout pieces for me i think in the men's collection is this jacket right this jacket is absolutely crazy for me this is this is my vibe matrix vibe all flipping black massive wide shoulders it cinches in really well here on the waist and it will probably look amazing on everybody this entire look is definitely all that i'm into all that i'm into the over the jacket the leather pants even the boots are quite nice the boots are probably wear my own flipping you know saint Laurent wyatt's instead but this is definitely a vibe this whole entire outfit is a vibe 100 percent sure this is definitely one of the standout pieces i feel like um in the lookbook that whole entire thing oh we've got some more stuff i've i've missed here let me double check here what else did i miss da, 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 da. i think we we're at 20 oh yeah we've got a nice leather jacket also a suit jacket blazer similar type of style here without the lapels design which i'm a big fan of also i love this suit jacket blazer thing the body diamond thing is a bit mad but i love it also not gonna lie so all of it's really good party party outfits and stuff and so and a nice biker jacket also here in a women's, women's collection that i think will do amazing and actually a really nice dress here as well this lady's got on too this dress is really nice i think that'll be flattering on a lot of the ladies shapes out there and some nice stuff also here this corset top here on the left is really nice as well looking wise i love the jewelry here with these kind of spikes or nails points the styling with the nails also looks really good so a lot of it is quite awesome but again most of the most of the women's oh um that's what should we call it isn't it I forgot the artist what's what's her name oh i forgot the artist's name arca that's arca i'm pretty sure in the lookbook there but yeah it's a big up arca um but yeah pretty decent stuff like what i'm seeing here so far um when does it all come out that's the major date the major key here the major key is that it's all meant to be coming out in select stores and hm's website on may 11th so if you're interested in that may 11th is when you're going to be seeing it may 11th so if you need some monies make sure you jump on that massive m belt that's going to be popular i think some of the flipping um i think some of the other bits and bobs will be really popular also um who's in the chat what are people saying in the chat for me yeah big up richie what's good thick boy army yes it's coming soon severe design after this stream richie said rosalia no i don't think that's rosalia i'm pretty sure that's arca i'm pretty sure that's arca I think Rosalia would be offended if you thought Arca was Rosalia, but I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's Arca. That definitely looks like Arca to me. I don't think that's Rosalia. But, you know, they may be, are they from the same country? Maybe they're from the same country? I'm not really too sure. But regardless, um, big up H&M and Mugler. Um, decent collaboration so far. But I think for the majority of people, it's going to be a little bit inaccessible or maybe just in terms of vibe, they're probably not going to be into it, in my opinion. But hey, what do I know?